Welcome to another exciting episode of Smash Writing. I am your host today, Paul. Yes, I got my Star Wars shirt on because basically I just did a reaction um, on our podcast side regarding Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 16, and the whole season as general. So I'm pumped about that. Also, there is another interesting topic that I want to get to and kind of start branching into as well. Last night, Friday, first first off, was a awesome, awesome day. I mean, you had the Star Wars, and now you had Eminem's new album, The Music to be Murdered by the Beats, B-Side Deluxe. Um, usually, his albums are kept under wraps. Uh, nothing really leaks, uh, per se. Um, but this one kind of leaked, well, at least the art, a lot of the producers and everything says the new music, they are working on new music. And usually when producers say they're working on new music, new music is coming. The actual album has uh, 16 new songs, which just basically serves as a new album. This is, even though they call it B-Side Deluxe, this kind of is a second album, basically a sequel to Music To Be Murdered By, which... God, it seems like it came out, uh, I want to say January, so it's ironically enough, Eminem starts the year off and finishes the year off. But there's there's also uh, a lot of other the, the songs, You the deluxe album includes the albums from the, the songs from the first album and everything like that too. But I wanted to listen to the 16 new songs and, and give my opinion on the album. This one does not seem like uh, aggressive version. Uh, I think he has toned it down because, you know, the controversy has been so going around with him with, okay, he lost it with Revival, which no, he didn't. He took a different course of action. Kamikaze came out, he, re, you know, he attacked the real, which was probably one of his better albums in, in recent memory. Uh, all his albums are really good. He, the difference is he's just one of those artists that likes to change it up and and do things like that. Um, you know, so Kamikaze was him attacking everybody, and then Music to be Murdered by was kind of more of him like laughing at the people who go, okay, you said I was bitter, but then you said I lost it. So where does this put this album at? This album is kind of more of him just you can tell in his tone that he's just now going back to enjoying rap. He's not trying to attack anybody. He does take a few shots at a few, a few rappers, but not nothing. Like I don't think it's much of a big deal to be honest with you. Um, what Zeus? Uh, which almost sounds like he's now embracing the fact that he is a rap god. There's he's embracing the fact that there's nobody better than him and maybe rightfully so i mean well that can be a video for a topic for another day but it's it sounds like he's embracing what people think of him in the sense of being the king of hip-hop or the rap god and stuff like that i do think the the, the rap god song was him just that's just the title he doesn't he didn't believe it but he was just showing off how credible he can be in the rap world um some people said that, and, you know, I l listened to the album and it said the one song, Zeus, he kind of uh, is more mellow, just talking about how he feels about how he's used to people taking shots at him. He, and the one shot was uh, earlier this year, Snoop Dogg did not put Eminem in his t top 10. I think, hands down, the biggest debate with Eminem is where does he rank amongst the top five? I don't think anybody will dispute that if they are disputing it, they're most likely either A, not really good in the hip-hop, or B, super jealous. I mean, he will have his haters. Um, but one of them that I included top 10 was Snoop Dogg. Now, I don't know if I really took that as a shot at Eminem, but supposedly that there was a deeper video where Snoop Dogg was basically making fun of Eminem, whether this was for fun or he was legitimately mocking him. So... Eminem took a low, key, not a low key shot, but a shot that basically said, "Hey, I thought you were a god to me, and now you're just a dog to me. 
you're supposed to be in my camp, which they've always had a good relationship, and then you're over there mocking me or something like that. It, it basically called them out like, you know, I took, I heard that. Um, another shot, um, and he's been low key about, so rapper 6 9 uh, is a very hit and miss rapper at best. His beats are good, but his lyrics are just crap. Uh, Eminem takes a not a shot per se at directly at him. He doesn't come out and say that he's trash, but he basically hints that he thinks he is trash. Um, he's like, oh, he's t it's like he's talking to a female, and he's like, oh, you say your favorite rapper is Takashi Six Nine, and you're calling me trash when your favorite rapper is trash. So I mean, he indirectly takes the shot at him. So it. Can't wait to see what happens with that. Really think 6 9 should just stay out of that. Don't take a hint from MGK. Um, you can put out a diss track, but you're not going to hurt his his legacy. Um, a lot of people that you've probably seen over the internet, it was going like, oh, he took another shot at MGK, and that's on the song uh, Nat. Um, part of the course is, you know, he like, says like a machine gun doesn't do something or something like that. Um... I don't, I don't think it is a shot per se. I mean, um, you know, it's like, See, I don't. I some people are saying that's a shot at machine gun cat because he uses the the word machine guns. I don't think so. I think he's he's just. I mean, saying comparing it is to a machine gun. I don't think it has anything to do with Kelly. Eminem's not afraid to sit there and say to call somebody out. So I don't think that was um thing so like I said the album has six uh, 16 songs that was Nat that was number eight on there um Dr. Dre makes an uh, appearance um some of my favorite songs of the 16 I think you should get like listen to is Black Magic Tone Death Guns Blazing Nat Higher um Killer Zeus and Discombobulated Discombobulated is I think going to be a lot of people's favorite songs because he's, you know, like just here, listen to the first part of it and you tell me why this wouldn't be your favorite. That's right, he brought back the accents. Now, if you remember the Slim Shady era, um, there was a lot of accent songs. People enjoyed it. But when he came back from his drug hiatus situation, he put out the album Relapse. And it was mostly all accents. And people said that he overdid it. I mean, the luxury version. It, it, but the songs were good. But a lot of people just said, eh, I didn't like it. And he came out with Recovery and said he's never using the accents again. Now, that was 2010. That was 20, 10 years ago. And, um, and he brought it back. So to be able to do that, uh, to update us with the accents, um, because we saw in um, pretty much since recovery he, he went with a different direction to go back to the slim shady type of days and, and not just the Eminem attacking type of days um, good callback um, how does this ranks among his more all of his albums hard to say I do think he is taking a different tone with it um, I don't think he has any of the art he, he you know people are going to continue to take shots he, he can't always t rap about other people he has to go back to the storytelling days and and talk more about his stories because that's that's where it all comes into place at so uh, the album I, I would probably say or uh, will probably be on the better side of things uh, a little bit more toned down so you're not going to get what you've seen on music to be murdered by the first one or um, 
kamikaze, a much a little bit toned down, which is good. I mean, it sounds like he's going back to having fun with it. Uh, there's a couple songs that you can tell he is just having his way with being funny with it. You know, where he stops, like he's recording, like, oh, wait, I didn't, did I rap this? Oh, uh, wait, no, uh, wait, um, uh, hmm, hmm, let me, and, you know, let me correct that and stuff like that. So he's having fun. And, and maybe rightfully so, I think people don't realize that, he, or maybe he still wants to prove that there's a chip on his shoulder. He has done everything in the rap world. I don't think he has the millions, he has the controversy, he has the, the, the awards, um, the fan base, and the talent. And I think the talent is above all. A lot of people in the industry respect him. Some people probably hate him simply because they're not him. And I think he states that a couple times throughout the course of several albums. Um, overall, I'm out of five stars, I would give this a four star rating. I'm not going to say this is the perfect album. Um, not every song catches me, but I did listen to every song. I did enjoy every song, but the ones that I mentioned uh, definitely stood out to me, and and I loved them that way. So that was my reaction to Eminem's album. I think you got to listen to it. I think you'll enjoy it and everything like that. So until next time, bye-bye.